Welcome back. We're trying to get through that gate there. So we're looking for a person called Rosina Dalamil. Maybe the townspeople will know where they are. But I want to check out the shop and see what happens when we go near the gate. Good day, my lord. Eh. It's an okay sword. It's okay. It's okay. The breath of lightning. I don't want that. Hmm. The thousand tables. Don't really need anything from the shop. Very well. well. Right. The gate. The gate is closed by order of Lord Kupka. Any attempt to gain passage to Drake's Fang will be punished with arrest and incarceration. All right, mate. Very well, very well. All right, so what we got around here? For Gilbert's sake. You're a bearer, aren't you? Oh, dear. I was a Anything I can help you with, travellers? Allow me. My good man, we represent one of the oldest and greatest trading houses of Port Isolde. We're seeking to expand our business in the region and would very much like to make the acquaintance of Dalamil's leading entrepreneurs. <laughs> if only we knew where to find them. Hmm. Well, we're best known for our baths, our markets and our smithies. I suppose you could do worse than start your search at one of those. Thank you. You've been most helpful. Oh, um, you wouldn't happen to know a lady by the name of Rosina Dalamil, would you? No, I can't say I do. Well, thank you all the same. Well, that went quite well. What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? I won't keep you long. I'm looking for someone. A woman by the name of Rosina Dalamil. Do you know her? Never heard of her. Is that all? One more question. If I wanted to find the richest trader in town, where would you recommend that I look? Oh, that's easy. The Briar's Kiss. I won't find a finer smithy this side of the strait. The owner's only a young sprig. But he's got all the right ideas. The Briar's Kiss, you say? Thank you. The Briar's Kiss? I doubt this young sprig is the person we're looking for. You said Sid's contact was likely to be an influential sort. Influence comes with age and experience. Believe you me. I'm quite worried how you said that, but okay. Mummy, I want to play with the crystal. How many times do I have to tell you? It's not a toy. Ravens! Or crows. Not entirely sure which. Ah, you over there. Can I help you? Yes, I'm looking for a woman by the name of Rosina Dalamil. A long-standing pillar of your community, I believe, from old trading stock. Then you should ask further. He's been here for years. Knows the place and its people like the back of his hand. And he's in with all the old merchant families. Try the baths. That's where you'll usually find him. Thank you kindly. All right, let's go look for them then. Well, it sounds like we have our man. Perhaps. Let's go and find out exactly what this Ferda knows. Sweet incense. Wasp wax candles. Wasp wax candles? Oh. Excuse me, are you further? I am. Can I help you, travellers? I hope so. You've lived here for some time, is that correct? Do you know Rosina Dalamil? We believe she may be a trader of some renown. And what business do you have with the Desert Hare? She was a close friend of mine. I was hoping she might be able to help me. Very well. Go to the Bordello. I'll arrange an introduction. The Bordello? Silver platters! Do you think we can trust him? Only as far as I think he trusts us. Silver platters, you say? Mate, if you've played like a dragon, or the wise known as Yakuza, or the other way around, depending on which way you want to go, they're everywhere. They're just out in the street. You can just go pick them up. Just look for the shinies. You'll find them. 
So you're the ones who've been sniffing around. I beg your pardon? Don't play the fool. Stick your nose in our business and you're likely to lose it. Oh dear. Um... <laughs> I was waiting for him to get close. By fire, be perched. Stay down. Right, guys over here having a good day 42 42 42 oh well that one just completely missed there we go Bosh. how are you guys doing you all right Just playing with him. Just playing with him. Enemies bested. Oh, not defeated. 3k AP. I want that 5k ish. Who are you working for? Him or her? Ah. Uh, uh. Him. The, the boss. He wanted us to test you. Though one could hardly call that a test. Lord Ferda? Look what the cat dragged in. Your skill with a blade is rare indeed, my lord. A fitting talent for an outlaw. You know who I am. So what now? Call in the men of the rock and collect the bounty? That isn't my decision to make. Our work is done. Take him to meet his precious Rosina. She will be interested to make his acquaintance. Yes, my lord. To the Lock of Leisure, then. Lock of what? To the Lock of Leisure. Oh. Made from the stoutest stoneware. Fresh bread, warm from the oven. Take yeah. a sniff, good Have sir. a taste. You'll be transported. I mean, I do like warm, fresh bread. I really do. My carpet. Is this the place? Lubos Forge, the Briar's Kiss. Ah. So it was the young Sprig after all. So much for Rosina Dalamil being a woman of experience. How wrong I was. It was an easy mistake to make, Uncle. After all, it must have been years since Sid last saw her. Sorry, him. Whoever this Lubor truly is, he's clearly a man of means. I'd say he deserves our respect. See that he gets it. Lubor, Lord Ferda told me to bring them to you. My boys tell me you're in need of assistance. Sid the Second? <laughs> I won't waste your time. I need passage through the South Gate. <laughs> Tell me, what do you think is a merchant's most important commodity? Why, trust. Everyone knows that. Without it, you have nothing. <laughs> and nothing is exactly what you have. And so, for you, I, too, have nothing. 
I'm not in the business of helping every lost puppy that wanders in off the street. I'm a busy man, as you can see. Let's leave this mama to his farce. By all means. Find someone else to help you on your way. Just be sure to tell them you're not the two travelers from the inn the guards are looking for. Don't want them jumping to conclusions, do we? Why, you... So, what do we need to do to earn your trust? Hmm... I like this one. Willing to do whatever it takes to get what he wants. Ha! <laughs> Men like you have a special place in my heart. Why, you ask? Because they get me what I want. Always. Fine. So what do you want? Don't tell me you're going to listen to this swaggering scruff! We might as well hear him out. It's only natural that an ally of Sid's would seek assurances of strangers. Assuming he is an ally, of course. Five years ago, he would have still been a boy. And yet even then I had more good sense than a man... Oh, five times my age? But enough of the pleasantries. We were speaking of what I want. I want you to put an end to the trouble in Dalamil. Return to me when you have done so, and you shall have my aid. Until then, I bid you good day. What trouble? If you're going to give us orders, be clear about them, damn you! Manners, Greybeard. One catches more damselflies with honey than with vinegar. What did you call me? My apologies. A word of advice in recompense. Follow the crystals. Oh, but that was three. Oh, I'm making this too easy for you. Ha! It will be easy. Solving his little riddle should be like dealing with him. Child's play. Let us divide our forces, Clive. I'd rather not drag this parlor game on any longer than we need to. <sighs> All right. Good luck, Uncle. Follow the crystals. I thought we were the only ones causing trouble in Dalamil. Well, apparently not. Hmm. Ah, I was going to say who's out here, but there we go. Excuse me. Is it true there's been trouble with crystals of late? You've heard then. I've heard rumors. Damn thieves. Pilfering the crystals that were meant to fill our cups and light our stoves. Us common folk have hardly had a shard to share between us these last few moons. And it isn't as if we can buy them on the black market either. Whoever's taking them, they aren't sharing. <laughs> Why are they taking them then? Hmm. So who we got round dear? Do you have a moment? Depends what for. Just a question. Dalamil seems to be thriving compared to the other villages I came through on the way. Is there a reason for that? Well, we're a stone's throw from Drake's Fang for one. The soldiers guarding the Mother Crystal and the shipments need a place to spend their hard-earned gill. The men of the rock throw their money about like there's no tomorrow. Is that so? Well, thank you. Don't let me keep you from your work any longer. I wonder what Byron's up to right now during all this, though. Light me in dark. To a silken you wouldn't believe how much he cloud. gave me. What can I do for you, soldier? Need that sword polishing. I'm not a soldier. Ugh, then be off with you. I serve the men of the rock and the men of the rock only. You have... an agreement with them? 
Don't be stupid. I just know which side my bread is buttered. Don't want to be stuck under some pauper when they come knocking. With pockets deeper than Zemeckis and an urge to empty them. No, just leave, will you? Before you scare them off. I think I'm starting to get an idea of what's been going on. I wonder if Uncle Byron's learned anything of use. He'll probably be back at the inn by now. The finest fabrics! Finest fabrics? Oh! Sounds delightful. It's you, the one who broke all our furniture. What do you want? Haven't you caused enough trouble already? I'm looking for my pal. Have you seen him? The gentleman who was with you? Yes, he's upstairs, but... Thank you. I'll go and fetch him. What trouble is he in now? Hmm. Find Byron, but where? Huh? Well, well, well. Is he bribing him? Will this suffice as a deposit? By the sense. That's a black pearl. One of the many treasures in my collection that I would be only too happy to part with, should you give me reason to do so. All right. I'm sure that we can come to an agreement, but not here. What are you doing, Uncle? He's offering him a bribe. I've been playing too much Zelda. I want to smash this pot. I don't think I can. Care to explain why you're giving gifts to Kupka's men? Bait, my boy. One cannot catch one's prey without it. And I do believe I've snagged us quite the quarry. I started by asking around the markets as to where I might purchase crystals. I had no luck, of course. It's forbidden to trade in such things. But my uncharacteristic indiscretion just happened to attract the attention of those uniformed ruffians. They took me aside and said they could procure the crystallized sort if I proved I could pay for it. So the pearl was your proof? <laughs> I thought they'd ask for more. A second-rate specimen like that would only fetch 500,000 or so. A small price to pay for admittance to the underworld. But enough about my little act of subterfuge. What did you discover? That the supply of crystals has dried up of late. And some people seem to think they're being stolen. Meanwhile, members of Kupka's private guard have been spending money all over town. I'll wager those soldiers you've been talking to have been siphoning off crystals meant for elsewhere. And pocketing the profits. I'll wager you're right. We'll meet with them then. Just as you arranged. And put an end to the trouble Lubor spoke of. Ha! That preening Popinjay thought this would be difficult. It just goes to show one should never underestimate a Rosfield. We'll soon wipe that smirk off his face. Well done, Byron. I arranged to meet with the soldiers in a secluded corner of the Velcroy, far from prying eyes. The perfect place for a spot of double dealing. I trust I can count on your support, if things turn sour. <laughs> Let me treat you. Of course. It's more like when at this rate. To drink. Nothing ever goes right for us. Fucking men of the wrong. Alright, mate. Oh, it's quite far actually, isn't it? So, we want to go for the desert gate, really. Let's use the teleporter over here. The obelisk. And then we'll ride our chocobo all day. Why is the tavern shot? Lovely. Lovely chocobo there. Right, let's get our chocobo and get on out here. 
There you are, Come girl. On. Let's go. Fly, Ambrosia. But don't literally fly. That would be quite off-putting. Look at Byron go. He's off. I was going to say, where did these chocobo prints come from? It's like, I just saw the chocobo run across. A red chocobo, though. Hmm, not brown. Red. Interesting. Hmm. Looks like fallen ruins over there. This could be a trap, though. I'll take it from here. Well, good luck, mate. I was beginning to think you weren't coming, my lord. You've brought your contribution? All the silver and stones I could scrape together at such short notice? You brought the whole 500 talents. That was the price we agreed upon, yes? If you've no objections, I'd like to see the crystal. Of course. Right this way, my lord. Oh, that's some premium crystal right there. Not bad at all. You weren't lying about the clarity. But what of security? If I were to be stopped on the road, what guarantee have I that it wouldn't be seized as property of the Republic? Because these crystals are no longer the property of the Republic. You're not buying from us. You're buying from them. And we have no more jurisdiction here than you, my lord. But we have ships, and will gladly deliver to a port of your choosing, now that our price has been met. Royalists, eh? What brings you here? Why, to collect their share of Drake's Fang's blessing, of course. Our nations are allies, and so they are entitled to a portion of the Mother Crystal's bounty. And, being such good friends, we elected to increase that portion, and share the benefits. And now that these crystals are officially property of the Kingdom of Ulud, we are duty-bound not to interfere, no matter where they might happen to end up next. Did you get all that? They're in cahoots! <sighs> so it would seem. My lord! What is the meaning of this? Double-crossing dogs. They're not here to do business. Kill them. Kill them both! I really did expect that to be a trap. I thought they'd seen through what we were doing, but no. But no. I can't believe Byron's plan actually worked out for us, but okay. Okay. New enemies, all right. Not over yet, Uncle. Good! I'm just getting warmed up. Get him. Waken. Let's get this going out. Get him. Attack. Over here. Are you okay in there? Hear you yelling. This one. There we go then. You all right? Get him. This one. Should be the oh no, I can't say the lot of them, but <gasps> shockabos. Oh no.
Ba ba da ba ba dum ba ba dum. There we go. Still need more AP, please. Well, that wasn't too bad. How'd you like my performance, huh? I've often played the villain on the stage. I think I did the role justice. Don't you? Great bid. You were magnificent. The battle scene was particularly thrilling. Such a shame you didn't have more of an audience, but perhaps that's for the best. How long have you been watching? Long enough to witness your uncle's sordid transaction. I hardly expected one so venerable to degrade himself so thoroughly. Buying one's way into the confidence of degenerates. Ingenious. This was the trouble you spoke of. The men of the Rock taking Crystal's men for the common folk and conspiring with the Royalists. Well, now it's over. Indeed it is. The people of Dalamil had scarcely any means of address against Kupka's men, let alone a foreign army. Until you two came along, that is. Crystals! Well, we'd better get these crystals back to town. You won't mind waiting with them while I fetch a wagon. We'll keep an eye on them, yeah. Wouldn't want them to fall into enemy hands, would we? No, no. It occurs to me that I still don't know your name. Clive. <laughs> so, Sid the Second is a Clive. <laughs> I suppose it could have been worse. Well, Clive, you held up your end of the bargain, so I must do the same. Passage through the South Gate, was it not? To tell the truth, you've helped a little there too. Many of the guards have already been redeployed to deal with the issue of their missing comrades. And those left behind have been... Encouraged to look the other way should you attempt to pass through. Thank you. And please allow me to cover your costs. Uh, you still have the purse I gave to the soldiers, I trust. I saw you pluck it from one of the bodies. Oh, dear. Was I really so obvious? And my name is not Greybeard. It is Lord Byron Rosfield. Thank you very much. No, thank you very much. Greybeard. Double the... Ugh! Here, wear this. It's a seal! See, there you go. Desert Rose. Any friend of mine who sees you with it shall be a friend of yours. Thank you, Lubor. And please, feel free to send one of my stolices back to your people. Tell them that... Rosina Dalamil is back in bed with Sid. Oh my. Oh my lost the land. To his Achilles. I'm off then. I'm trusting you, Sid. Or should I say, Clive? So be sure not to let me down. I have a reputation to uphold. <laughs> well then, I wish you a safe journey south. Thank you. Not at all. It was my pleasure. Come on, Uncle. Let's go. Quest complete! Get through the gate now. Follow the crystals. No AP! How dare. How very dare. Ah, we have a side quest over here now. So, what I might do... Oh, we got another one as well. Yeah, what, what, what I'll do then is, we'll end this part here. And in the next part, we'll see about the side quest before we 
head on so towards Drake's Thang, which is, I assume, there. The Jaw the Sickle. Am I? The Gilded Path. Titan's Wake. Ooh, that's worrying. Very, very worrying. The Steps of the Forgotten? Oh dear. Anyway, yes. Next part. It's side quest time, but... Is there any others? No, just seems to be them. Right, we'll see about that in the next part then. Ta-da for now.